Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Chiva Stearns, and I'm a Yonsei, fourth generation Japanese Canadian filmmaker from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I'm delighted to be taking part again in this year's Seattle Cherry Blossom Festival. Prior to the pandemic, I used to drive down almost every year for the last five years to present my films like One Big Hapa Family, uh, my feature length documentary, as well as my other feature length documentary, Mixed Match, and my short animated film, What Are You Anyways? Um, at the festival. All the films that I create usually uh, look at multiracial identity because I myself identify as being mixed Japanese Canadian. Although I have since transitioned to uh, writing and illustrating children's books and graphic novels. Today I am delighted to be reading two of those children's books to you, uh, Mixed Critters and Nori in His Delicious Dreams. So without further ado, let's read Mixed Critters. So Mixed Critters is a book that I created for my mixed Japanese daughter and I wanted to, her to see herself reflected in animals that were like her, mixed. Um, so she could see that animals didn't have to be either this or that, but they could be many things and blended together. And so I decided to create an ABC children's book uh, that I called Mixed Critters. So let's read Mixed Critters. As you can see, uh, in each of the books that people order from me, or uh, some of the bookstores that carry the books like Kobo in Seattle, um, I have drawn a little mixed critter and signed it and written a little something. And uh, if you order the books from me through the website and through um, Okabee's as well, um, all the books are also signed. So let's start. A is for alligator. I'm a mix of alligator and anteater. B is for Bleemer. I am a mix of bunny and lemur. These are a bit kind of strange looking creatures if you ask me. They get cuter as we go. C is for Chickaroo. I am a mix of chicken and kangaroo. D is for Deerl. I am a mix of deer and squirrel. Oh, here we go. E is for Elephunk. I am a mix of elephant and skunk. F is for fertile. I am a mix of ferret and turtle. So you can see it was pretty fun mashing these animals together. But some of these animals actually are mythical creatures um, that have existed for centuries in the imaginations of humans, like G, which is for griffin. And griffin is a mix of eagle and lion. H is for hippopotamus. I am a mix of hippopotamus and mouse. This is my daughter's favorite, the hippopotamus. I is for Iggy Raffy. I think I said that right. I am a mix of iguana and giraffe. J is for jackalope. I am a mix of jack jackrabbit and antelope. Those are one of my favorite uh, mixed critters when I was growing up, jackalopes. K is for kitty hawk. I am a mix of cat and hawk. Actually, um, this is modeled after my cat. L is for Liger. I am a mix of lion and tiger. I think Ligers actually exist, which is kind of crazy. M is for Meowl. I am a mix of owl and cat. I think they're pretty cute, don't you? N is for Narus. I am a mix of narwhal and moose. That's a very Canadian animal right there. O is for Otterfly. I am a mix of otter and butterfly. P is for panda cat. I'm a mix of panda and cat. Q is for quakala. I am a mix of quaka and koala. This is a very Australian animal. Quakas live on a small, small island in Australia and they're always smiling. R is for rhinocorn. I'm a mix of rhinoceros and unicorn. I think it looks like a little baby dragon, doesn't it? S is for snakele. I'm a mix of snake and snail. T is for turducken. I am a mix of turkey, duck, and chicken. Interesting, huh? U is for unicoon. I'm a mix of unicorn and raccoon. V is for veloth. I'm a mix of vulture and sloth. W is for wolfen. I'm a mix of wolf and dolphin. All right, X, this one's tricky to say, is for oxalotl dial. And I'm a mix of oxalot and crocodile. 
I think I've said that right. Sometimes people pronounce this uh, creature a little differently. Y is for Yakapus. I am a mix of yak and platypus. If you've ever seen a platypus, platypus actually look like pretty mixed up creatures themselves. So uh, it was interesting to actually mix them up even more with a yak. And finally, we have Z is for Zebear. I am a mix of zebra and bear. There you go. And as you can see, I actually drew a lot of these mixed critters on post-it notes, um, which was kind of fun um, because I like to draw on post-it notes because it's a kind of a fun, small surface to draw on. And most of the time I draw, which is using a black marker, just like this. So that was mixed critters. I am going to now read Nori and His Delicious Dreams. So Nori and His Delicious Dreams was a children's book that I just created in 2020. And it's basically a story about a small mixed Japanese boy who dreams of sleeping on various foods from around the world. It's kind of a combination of all the things that I love, eating food and sleeping. Um, but also I think it was really important that the main character Nori is also mixed Japanese because he kind of reflects me when I was a kid. And I want to see that my children can see themselves reflected in characters in children's books as well um, that look like them and they can relate to. So without further ado, I am going to read Nori and his delicious dreams. Oh, as well, if you buy uh, Nori, copies of Nori, I usually draw a little copy of Nori in there and uh, sign it as well. So um, again, you can purchase books from Kobo in Seattle um, or online on my website, which I will uh, put up. Actually, it's right here, meditatingmoney.com. All right. There once was a boy named Nori who had a very unusual story. He would snuggle up tight every night in his bed dreaming of tastier places to lay down his head. Nori dreamt he was wrapped in a spicy burrito and rolled up in sushi sprinkled with flakes of bonito. He would dream of being nestled inside a soft banh mi and swirled onto a plate of meatballs and spaghetti. Nori dreamt he was comfy on hummus and falafels and sprawled out on top of fried chicken and waffles. He would dream he was snug in poutine smothered with gravy and tossed in a kale salad that was both sweet and savory. Nori dreamt he was cozy on fried green tomatoes and stretched out on a scoop of warm mashed potatoes. He would dream he was folded in a saucy doner and tucked inside the sweet cream of a chocolate eclair. Nori dreamt he was relaxing in a casserole dish and squeezed like a lemon on top of crisp battered fish. He would dream of a butter pillow on a stack of pancakes and woven inside a huckleberry pie just like grandma bakes. Nori dreamt he was stuffed inside steamy shumai and mixed with shrimp and tofu in a tangy pad thai. He would dream of a non-blanket next to tandoori wings and lounging on a tower of golden onion rings. Nori dreamt he was floating in a salty sea of ramen so now you can see that his dreams are not all that common. And every morning, after deliciously dreaming all night, Nori's parents wondered where he got such a huge appetite. The end. Definitely a, a boy after my own heart loves to eat food. And as you can see, Nori has a Japanese Canadian mother and a European father just like me. It was just like me when I was growing up. So if you don't know a lot of the foods or are unfamiliar with what some of those foods are, I have created this great kind of checklist here that you can read um, about all the foods and what they are. And a lot of children have told me that they love um, actually playing the game where they actually try to check off what foods that they've tried. And it's been a great way for children to try new foods from all around the world and expose themselves to new things, which I think is really exciting um, and get them excited about food. Again, I like to draw on post-it notes, so I drew a bunch of pictures of Nori um, playing. And just to show you that, you know, he's, he's kind of a fun, imaginative boy who also has a very diverse family. He has a Ovachan, which he likes to have little snuggles with all the time. And, um, but just like you and me, he likes to imagine about all the cool things that he likes to do and places he likes to see and all the games he likes to play. Again, that's me, um, the author, illustrator, and uh, I, there's my other book, Mixed Critters. So... 
Um, those are my two children's books, Mixed Critters and Nori and His Delicious Dreams. Um, all the books uh, you can get signed at Kobo in Seattle, as well as online at okabees.com, uh, which I'll put the uh, link to, and through my website, meditatingbunny.com slash store. Um, there's, you can also order uh, my graphic novel um, online at uh, those places. Uh, so On Being Yukiko, I will be talking about in just a little bit, um, but you can also get my new latest graphic novel, On Being Yukiko, which I collaborated with um, an amazing japanese Canadian artist, Lillian Michiko Blakey, on this book. It's a very intergenerational book, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But please follow me on Instagram, at Meditating Bunny, uh, right there. Uh, that's the best way to kind of follow how, uh, how we're doing with everything with the books. But thank you for watching this year's virtual Seattle Cherry Blossom Festival, and please stick around to watch my presentation with co-author Lillian Michiko Blakey on my latest graphic novel, On Being Yukiko. Uh, that'll be a 45 minute presentation coming up a bit later today. So I really hope you can check that out. Have a great rest of the fest. Thanks.